Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here this morning. Um, I'm going to be your worship leader here today. John's gone, so, you know, we can have fun with that, I think. Yeah, so when John gets back, you can tell him, you know, we missed you a little. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we sure welcome you here to worship at Dyes United Methodist Church today, July 20th, 2014. How many people remember what happened today 45 years ago? Lots of hands go up. Landed on the moon. Yes. I thought that was pretty cool. I told my wife, I, I was at YMCA camp. Just a little guy. And I suppose we all remember where we were. Anyways, uh, again, we'd like to welcome you here. Uh, anybody that has announcements or wants to talk about where they might want to serve this church soon, come on up front. Take a mic. I see they're all hurting up here. Very good. Are there any announcements this morning? Okay, seeing none, I'll make a short, quick one. Uh, the Red Heart Pizzas are here. They're in the church. If any of you remember, we started selling them way back in November. They're here. So uh, it's real now. Um, this coming Friday and Saturday, I'll be at the church kitchen. And if you read in the bulletin, I think the times are given there. So y'all come. If you remember, you ordered some pizza. Okay. Oh, you mean you can't read it, Marcia? Oh, okay. Friday from this. Fr oh, oh, sure, yeah. I can do that. Yeah, I might make some calls to refresh your memory. Thank you for that. I didn't think about that. All right. Any other announcements, anybody? If not, we'll go right into worship with Deb Fowler. She's going to sing Word of God Speak. I'm finding myself at a loss for words and the funny thing is it's okay the last thing I need is to be heard but to hear what you would say word of God speak would you pour down like rain, washing my eyes to see your majesty, to be still and know that you're in this place. Please let me stay and rest in your holiness, word of God speak. Finding myself in the midst of you, beyond the music, beyond the noise. All that I need is to be with you, and in the quiet, I hear your voice, word of God speak. Would you pour down like rain, washing my eyes to see your majesty, to be still and know that you're in this place. Please let me stay and rest in your holiness. Word of God, speak. Would you pour down like rain, washing my eyes to see your majesty, to be still and know the 
that you're in this place please let me stay and rest in your holiness I'm finding myself at a loss for words and the funny thing is it's no Please join me in the, in the call to worship. From every direction we come and gather, we have made our way here today, and we greeted one another as we arrived. No matter who we are or where we come from, God meets us in this place. God meets us in the eyes of a stranger sitting next to us and in the wonder of children's whispers. Led by the Spirit of God, remind us we are children of God. Led by the Spirit, let us be present to the community we create. We are here, gathered to listen and respond to God's blessing. Let's stand and, and sing uh, hymn number 694, Come You Thankful People, Come.
Let's join in our opening prayer. Help us to listen to the groans in our midst, O oh God, creation's groans of labor pain, our neighbor's groans of loneliness, the groans that we bring with trepidation and awe. We come bringing all the yearnings that are on our hearts this day, and we know that you meet us wherever we are. Thank you for your ever constant presence and companionship along life's journey. We know that with you, we are never alone. Amen. Reading from the epistles, Romans 8, verses 12 through 25. So then, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live accordingly to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of sonship. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is the Spirit himself bearing witness with our own spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, provided we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. I considered that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own will, but by the will of him who subjected it in hope. Because the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and obtain the glorious liberty of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in travail together until now, and not only the creation, but we ourselves. We have the first fruits of the Spirit, groaning inwardly as we wait for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we are saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. This is the word of God. And now Debbie will sing another song for us. It's called Redeem. by ghosts that live in my past bound up in shackles of all my failures wondering how long is this gonna last Then you look at this prisoner and say to me, son, stop fighting a fight. It's already been won. I am redeemed. You set me free. So I'll shake off these heavy chains wipe away every stain now i'm not who i used to be i am redeemed i'm redeemed 
all my life I have been called unworthy named by my voice of my shame and regret but when I hear you whisper child lift up your head I remember oh God you're not done with me yet I am redeemed you set me free so I'll shake off these heavy chains wipe away every stain now I'm not who I used to be because I don't have to be the old man inside of me because his day is long dead and gone because I've got a new name, a new life, I'm not the same and a hope that will carry me on. I am You set me free, so I'll shake off these heavy chains, wipe away every stain, cause I'm not who I used to be, I am redeemed, you set me free. So I'll shake off these heavy chains, wipe away every stain. Now I'm not who I used to be. Oh God, I am not who I used to be. Jesus, I'm not who I used to be. Because I am. Thank God redeemed. Thank you, that was beautiful. It's, it's time for the, the children's message. Do we have, have any children today? Okay. Good deal. Carl, what's your name? Desiree. Desiree. Nice to meet you, Desiree. Well, I'm going to need some help. So what I'm going to ask, if, if you consider yourself a child, or if you're maybe childish, or um, have ever been a child, you get to help. <laughs> so who in here, I'm, this is going to be a real stretch in this area, is from a farm family? <laughs> okay, all right, farm families. Or who has a garden? Okay, you got gardens, farm families. You folks know a lot about weeds then, don't you? How do you get rid of your weeds? I suspect you spray them, but is that right? Or hoe. You know, my wife has a garden, and, and I can sit there and watch her hoe that for hours. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not that I don't help with the garden, I do. I, I eat the food, so. You know, we're going to talk about a parable today that talks about uh, weeds in the garden, and they're going to get to grow up with, with the crop and be weeded out later. You know, when I was thinking about this, I thought about my son, his, his, his eagle project was planting a prairie, and I thought, wow, he, he planted weeds. So, <laughs> Well, but anyway, we're going to, we're going to talk about today what is about to be a good crop and to know that that God loves us and and cares about us and we'll talk about how we how we're the not the weeds but we're the we're the good crop 
And I, I guess uh, while I was, I don't know if this is something that she can have, but if any of you that have helped out with the children's message uh, want one, I, would, I, I was going to say I dug these out of my wife's garden, but I've already admitted that I don't dig. So uh, how, how about a gummy worm? How's that? <laughs> you want a gummy worm? There we go. Let us pray. Lord, we ask that you protect all the children, all of us, whether we're really young or older children, so that we know that, that we are your children and that we'll be with you in your kingdom. Help us to act like your children, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. And our next hymn is number uh, 368. and sing our next hymn my hope is built on nothing less number 368 